you don't have another place in the world freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of assembly. You have constitutional freedoms guaranteed. Right? All of these things are wondrous things that not only are unique, but also undergird the rest of Western civilization. I mean, again, as the United States falls, so does everybody else. It's not the greatest country in the world, Professor. That's my answer. But the straight face. You're going to tell students that America is so star-spangled awesome, that we're the only ones in the world who have freedom. Canada has freedom. Japan has freedom. The UK, France, Italy, Germany, Spain, Australia, Belgium has freedom. 270 sovereign states in the world, like 180 of them, have freedom. And yeah, you, sorority girl, just in case you accidentally wander into a voting booth one day, there are some things that you should know, and one of them is that Amer there is absolutely no evidence to support the uh, statement that America is the greatest country in the world. We're seventh in literacy, 27th in math, 22nd in science, 49th in life expectancy, 178th in infant mortality, third in median household income, number four in labor force, and number four in exports. We lead the world in only three categories. The number of incarcerated citizens per capita, number of adults who believe that angels are real, and the defense spending, where we spend more than the next 26 countries combined, 25 of which are our allies. Now, none of this is the fault of a 20-year-old something college student, um, but without a doubt, you are nonetheless part of the worst period, generation period, ever period. So when you ask what makes America the greatest country in the world, I don't know how to answer that. Yosemite, the first step in solving a problem is recognizing that there is one. America is not the greatest country in the world anymore. Enough.